transformation of graphs. The first type of transformation is f of x plus a constant a. Here we have a picture of the function f of x equals x squared. As you can notice, the vertex of the graph is at the point 0, 0. If we now draw the graph y equals x squared plus 3, that is the graph in blue, you can notice that every point from the red graph has been moved up the y-axis three spaces. If we now draw the graph y equals x squared minus 2, you can notice that the purple graph has been moved two spaces down the y-axis. The second type of transformation is b times f of x. If we draw the graph of f of x equals x minus 2, x minus 3, x plus 1, you can notice that there are x-intercepts when x is minus 1, x is 2, and x is 3. If we now draw the graph of y equals 2 times f of x, which is 2 times x minus 2, x minus 3, x plus 1, you can notice that the point 0, 6 has moved to the point 0, 12. The x coordinate remains the same, the y coordinate has been multiplied by a scale factor of 2. Two lots of f of x. Remember, f of x is the same as y. If we now draw the graph of y equals 0 0.5 f of x, which is 0 0.5 times x minus 2, x minus 3, x plus 1, you can now see that the point 0, 06 has moved to 0, 03. The x coordinate remains the same. The y coordinate has been multiplied by a scale factor of a half or 0 0.5. So the effect of b on f of x is to multiply the y coordinate by the value b. The x coordinate remains the same. The third type of transformation is f brackets x plus c. So if we draw the graph of f of x equals x squared, if we now draw the graph of y equals f of x minus 2, you can see that the graph has been moved to the right by two spaces. So the vertex at 0, 0 is now at the point 0, 2. It is moved in the opposite direction. Instead of going in the negative direction, it goes in the positive direction, two spaces. So the point zero, zero becomes the point two, zero. The x coordinates are changed, the y coordinates remain the same. If we now draw the graph of y equals f of x plus 2, the original graph of x squared is moved two spaces to the left. Instead of moving in the positive direction, it is moved in the negative direction by two spaces. So the point 0, 0 becomes the point... 
minus 2, 0. Again, the x coordinates are changed, the y coordinates remain the same. The fourth transformation is the transformation of f brackets d times x. If we draw the graph f of x equals x minus 2, x minus 3, x plus 4, we notice we have x intercepts at minus 1, plus 2, and plus 3. If we now draw the graph of y equals f brackets 2x, which equals 2x minus 2, 2x minus 3, 2x plus 1, you notice the graph has been squashed towards the y-axis by a scale factor of 1 over 2, which is a half. Again, the x-coordinates are multiplied by a half. The y-coordinates remain the same. So the point 2, 0 moves to the point 1, 0. The x-coordinate is 1 half of the original x coordinate. If we now draw the graph of y equals f brackets 0 0.5 times x, which is 0 0.5x minus 2, 0 0.5x minus 3, 0 0.x plus 1, you notice the graph has been squashed away from the y-axis by a scale factor of 1 over 0 0.5, which is 2. The point minus 1, 0 now becomes minus 2, 0. The x-coordinate is multiplied by 2. The y-coordinate remains the same. The next transformation is minus f of x. So if we again draw the graph of f of x equals x minus 2, x minus 3, x plus 1, we have x intercepts at minus 1, 2 and 3. If we now draw the graph y equals minus f of x, which is equal to minus x minus 2 times x minus 3 times x plus 1. The graph is reflected in the x-axis. In other words, the y-coordinates are multiplied by minus 1. The next transformation is of f of minus x. So again, if we draw the graph f of x equals x minus 2, x minus 3, x plus 1, and then draw the graph y equals f of minus x, which is the same as minus x minus 2, minus x minus 3, minus x plus 1, you can notice that the graph is a reflection in the y-axis. So all the x-coordinates are multiplied by minus 1. You can, of course, combine transformations. So if we start with the graph of f of x equals x squared, and then draw the graph y equals f of x plus 2 in brackets minus 2, you can see that the original graph is moved two spaces to the left, that is the plus 2, and two spaces down, which is the minus 2. So 0, 0 becomes minus 2, 
minus 2. If we start with the graph y equals x squared, then draw the graph y equals minus 2, f of brackets x minus 3, the original graph is moved three spaces to the right, the minus 3 part. It is then reflected in the x axis, and then all the point the y coordinates are multiplied by minus 2. The easy way to remember the transformations are inside brackets always affects the horizontal, in other words, the x coordinates. Outside brackets always affects the vertical, in other words, y coordinates. Here are a summary of the rules. You need to remember them all.